Nazareth house is first of all I like to pray then physical things that we do at Nazareth house working with the people especially working with the children children who are in most need of care and love those who are vulnerable children with disabilities we have got no one really to look after them but we do give that care we look after them and as well as helping them develop spiritually, like we teach them how to pray and as well how to love God, even though they can't talk, but we teach them that. You feel like tomorrow you don't know, maybe God can give you maybe the child like this one. That they can hear you, but they can't talk. Ne? Then when you feel like, when you say something to them, they're laughing. Then when you touch them, the others, they can just lift up their, like, their eyes, then look at you. The one who was walking there outside, when I came here, she didn't, couldn't even walk. She even couldn't, but now when we saw that we have a stimulating her, we, we just like hold her hand when you're going by the reception or wherever you go, or she will hold your back. But now one day she just woke up and go on walk. So it was a miracle for us. Without people outside there, the Nazareth House wouldn't be where it is now. So we really greatly appreciate the people who are out there and to say thank you to them because for Nazareth House to be what it is doing now is because of the people who support us. Otherwise, without them, we wouldn't be able to do the work we are doing. That's my message to them. And as well to say to them, you know, whatever they do, whatever it might be, little, small, big, that aid to the value of, you know, a touch of love. Mm -hmm. 